Hey guys, so before we actually get into what I'm going to talk about, uh, I saw this, and uh, it's a fun design fact. The colors red and gold are often used to make people feel hungry. Now, we know that colors can be uh, used in a variety of ways. Uh, if you think back to, like, old McDonald's, uh, how everything was, like, yellow, they didn't want you to stay. Certain colors are used. That's why when you go to a restaurant, a lot more uh, darker, a lot, uh, darker colors, you go to bars, darker colors because they want you to stay they don't want to hurt your eyes so there's a lot more subtlety there's a lot more darker uh tones going on because they want you to stay they want you to spend money fast food they want it to be fast food they don't want you coming in and spending two hours eating they want you to come in order your food and get the hell out uh but yeah i never noticed how uh many people uh places actually use red and i shouldn't say gold i shouldn't say gold it's more like yellow but just that color scheme. So we like McDonald's, In and Out, Denny's, even down at the bottom. And again, these you know make you feel hungry. Um, you know, so when you see red and 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 yellow, you know, you just get hungry. Some places just make you more hungry than others. Uh Pepperidge Farm will put a little not really with the outside, but I can see what they're going for. Burger King, actually, no. Burger King sucks. By far the worst of the burger chains. I, in my opinion, Wendy's is still by far the most superior. Uh, Sonic's food is pretty good, especially the shakes. Um, Pringles. I didn't even notice little Pringles over there. But yeah, some places uh, just with that color scheme just make you a little hungrier than others. Anyway, Moving on, I saw this. So this is from that umbrella guy. Uh, Amber Heard simps are big mad in my comments about Lizzo. Lizzo's accusers are female. So apparently Lizzo, uh, it's come out by these uh, dancer, backup dancers or whatever that she's done inappropriate things like making them eat hot dogs out of people's, you know, uh, the JJ's. Um, so... So either, one, Lizzo is guilty and women can abuse, or two, women created false accusations. Because either way, the, the media and people tell us that, you know, women are, can't be abusers, and they also say that women would ma never make false accusations. Well, we have a perfect situation. You have women accusing another woman. So which is it? Either... Lizzo is an abuser who forces the, the people she knows to do terrible things, or these women made accusations, which disproves everything the media said. <laughs> and then we have as here. I see this as an absolute win. This is going to turn into an absolute shit show, and I'm here for it. Yeah. What the hell are they going to do with this one? I don't know. They'll probably blame toxic masculinity or Donald Trump in some kind of way. She hired Cosby's lawyers, apparently. Well, things are going to look out, look too good for her, then. Yeah, exactly. Chef's kiss, because that is amazing. Like, I don't get the media's obsession with this woman anyway. It's all because she's one of those body positivity kinds of people. But just because your body positivity doesn't mean... The media has to fucking suck your dick at all, 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 you know, all moments of the day. Like, oh my God, Lizzo did this. Oh my God, Lizzo played the flute. Lizzo did. The Who cares? Why does the media give this woman so much attention? But I would love to see this play because it, it, it would Amber Heard. It's like, oh, she's completely telling the truth. Don, Johnny Depp was an abuser. You need to believe all women. And women can never be abusers. Mmm. -hmm. Unless some of them don't identify as women, they might identify as a man, which might change the whole, just change everything. But as of right now, they're, they are people, all three of them identify as women. So we have Ariana Davis, Krista Williams, and Noel Rodriguez. And these, I think I said backup dancers or something. Uh, so either Lizzo's a liar and she proves that women can be abusers. 
or these women are all lying, conspiring against Lizzo for whatever reason, which means they're creating false accusations. Because if you also remember during that Me Too, uh, my, uh, the Me Too movement, that's what also what they were saying. Oh, women would never make false accusations about such terrible things. And then what do you know? You had all these people. You have uh, what is his name? His uh, Aziz Ansari, I think his name is. A woman, sexual encounter with him, completely consensual, but she didn't like the way it went, so she accused him of sexual, you know, assault. This dude had his livelihood at the time just demolished because everyone thought he was a a, a predator of some kind. When all she all that happened was she just didn't like the encounter. So, I I'm gonna love seeing this play out. That maybe if she's found guilty or whatever, maybe they'll stop giving so much limelight to her. Because quite frankly, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere, it's just, they're basically just her all the fucking time. They're like, Lizzo, come here, come here. All the fucking time. No matter what. Lizzo struts her stuff confidently down the street and wearing this. Lizzo plays the fucking flute in front of a hobbit hole. Lizzo eats hamburger while it's like who cares seriously stop giving this woman so much more attention but i can't wait to see the way this plays out you know i white lizzo oh <laughs> okay got it Okay. <laughs> Got it. Uh, truth hurts, that's why. Either either way is right. I've never seen a bigger bunch of bull. Checkmate! Amber Heard supporters never say women can't be abusers. No, they did. Like, oh, the, women can't be abusers. And they've said that for the longest time. Why do you think men don't come forward when they get abused? Because no one ever believes them. Because it's like, oh, they wouldn't abuse you. Women can't be abusers. Yeah, they can. <laughs> she won't fuck you. You're not rich or famous enough. I stand with Amber Heard. Of course you do. Well, I'm not going to say women are the abuser most of the time. They're not, but it's more like a 50-50 thing. Women are definitely the more of the abusers in lesbian relationships. Gee, John, I wonder why. Well, that's not true anymore because now we have males identifying as lesbians. I'm a freaking trans lesbian. It's like, no, you're a dude. You're a dude dressing as a chick who likes other girls. You're still a dude. You're still a hetero man. You're not a lesbian. But... Yeah, I mean, okay, so let's see. If she actually is guilty of this, that's one thing. But what what would they gain from making false accusations about it? Is it pay? Maybe she's not paying them enough? Or what about you, Sam? What do you think? Really? You want to come over here and talk about it? Come on. What? I want one. I want Johnson. Come on. Come on. What? Come on. Come on then. There we go. There we go. Ma. What do you think it what do you think about it, Sam? Do you think she's guilty or are these people guilty? Because you would think there's three people coming out and you're like, oh, believe all women. But again, she they just might be upset that maybe she doesn't pay them enough or maybe she really is just a terrible person. Which I really wouldn't be surprised. Let's pick a side here. Or let's pick which way this is going to go. Possibly. Most likely, it's going to be that these women came out and they're, you know, collaborating, corroborating, and all those other ratings. 
uh, to just kind of get her in trouble because they have a grudge against her for some reason. You know, maybe she wasn't kind to them or, you know, they're not getting paid enough and this would be the perfect way to make them, let them, you know, have them make a quick buck. Or, you know, Lizzo is just a terrible person and she's going to use her fame and everything, her her body is like, oh, you're just going after me because I'm black or you're going after me because I'm overweight and blah, blah, blah. And I have no shame in who I am. And people are like, oh my God, stunning, brave. Um, but I'm guessing the more likely situation is that these three made it up. So, I mean, either way, again, Lizzo is guilty and women can abuse or women can create false accusations. Either way. Either way, it's a win for everyone. Because all parties in here are women. And for years we've been hearing people say women can't be the abuser. Or, you know, women aren't capable. Or, you know, women would never create, you know, false accusations. They do. All the time. Meet The Me Too movement was prime example. The prime example of it. You have all these women who had sexual encounters with dudes... Who, who, who like uh, regretted it the next day and they're like, oh, he abused me. No, you just have a poor choice in men. Or, you know, maybe he didn't just satisfy you enough sexually and you, and that's not, you're ruining a guy's livelihood for that. But, looks like Lizzo's in hot ham water, hot dog water. Um, But I, I definitely want to see what happens. It, it shouldn't take too long for an outcome to be reached with this. Um, <laughs> completely surrounded by no beer. <laughs> yes! Um. Anyway. That's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.